Um, in assignment two, we are going to use the same Excel sheet that we made for assignment one. Uh, this sheet had level, trend, and seasonality tabs. Let's click on the trend tab. So here we have a time series with trend. And we're going to forecast this time series by using double exponential smoothing and uh, linear regression. Okay, so let's start with double exponential smoothing. So I click on this um, chart and then move it down here so it's out of the way. And then let's uh, start with column uh, labels. So here uh, I'm going to say forecast, forecast, and then forecast error. And then uh, level, change in level, and uh, trend. Okay. So now let me adjust this a little bit more. Uh, elements, okay. And then uh, let's see, let's make these all right, justified. So in double exponential smoothing, in every period, I update two things. So that's why it's called double exponential smoothing. And uh, for that, I need two parameters, alpha and beta. And for simplicity, I'm setting both parameters to 0.5. Okay. So... Um, what this means is that you can easily change this later on. Okay, so these are my two parameters, and I also need a uh, an initial value for level and an initial value for trend. Uh, I'm just going to make up these numbers off the top of my head. Okay, it's not very critical. So I look at demand; it's 35. Um, I'm, I'm just going to say, okay, uh, 30 for level, 5 for trend, just arbitrarily, okay? So once I have um, level and trend, I can forecast. So if the level and trend for period 1 are 30 and 5, the forecast for period 2 equals level plus trend, okay, 35. And my forecast error will be demand minus uh, forecast, okay. So then I can update my um, level for period two. For period two, um, my level is going to be equal to, okay, um, actual forecast, okay, plus alpha times the forecast error, okay, and um, I'm going to put a dollar sign between n and 1, so that the alpha, the cell that has alpha doesn't change as I copy this formula down. Okay. So, so now what has happened? Um, my forecast was 35. It was too high. And so now I'm taking the level down a notch. Okay. So, uh, and then I calculate the change in level. Okay. So the change in level is uh, current level minus the previous level, okay? So uh, my level has uh, increased, okay? Now let's update uh, trend, okay? So I type equals previous trend plus beta times uh, parenthesis 
change in level okay minus previous level close parenthesis and enter okay and to keep the cell that contains beta in the same place what I will do is I will uh, put a dollar sign between n and 2 okay so um, now this entire line okay has all the information updated my uh, level was 30 now it's 32 my trend was 5 now it's uh, 3.5 okay so then uh, I can simply select and copy the entire row up to the last um, uh, last uh, time period here and to um, uh, format the numbers here I click on the number number two decimal places click OK okay so now we have our um, double exponential smoothing forecasts which are um, here so these are our uh, double exponential uh, smoothing forecasts so let's add this time series forecast into this uh, plot here okay so um, I right click I select select data here I click on add to add a uh, data series the name will be forecast um, I skip uh, X values I go to Y values I select this range okay. and I say okay 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 so as you can see the uh, red time series denotes shows our forecasts which is which is pretty good okay and for example if I change alpha let's make alpha 0.8 um, gets a bit more responsive if I decrease alpha make it 0.2 it becomes less responsive let's make beta also 0.2 as you can see it doesn't uh, uh, respond much uh, so make, make this 0.8 uh, make this 0.8 okay. so we have a fairly uh, responsive time series so this is the first part of your uh, assignment 2